I'm gonna show this game how to use chess psychology against your opponent. First, white plays e4, c5, uh, c3, and c3 is preparing for uh, d4, and so uh, this is the Alapin Sicilian defense, where I force white to push on e5, nice. and white plays uh, d4. I take on the center and play d6, trying to attack the center, because I don't want white to have a great center like that. I capture on the center, and I defend my knight. Knight c3, uh, bishop e4, so I'm pinning the knight, so white can't take on d5. Uh, we have knight e2 defending, and now we have knight c6. A white castles, and I take the center pawn. So white decides to take on d5, I take, and white captures back. Um, and now I castle. We have bishop f4 attacking my knight, and I just defend my knight with the queen, and uh, I could have played it to, I could have played knight g6, but I thought that uh, I wanted to develop my queen. We have queen b3, which attacks my bishop, and my uh, I was thinking about playing a4, uh, defending my bishop or just retreating it. Uh, but one one thing I didn't like is that white will be targeting the b7 pawn if I move my bishop. So uh, I try to play this tactically and play bishop g4. Uh, white uh, blocks by playing f3, but this is exactly what I wanted yeah, yeah, because boy. now I get to move my dark square bishop with check, and now I move the, the bishop back uh, to e6. So now uh, white doesn't have the opportunity to capture the b7 pawn here uh, with the bishop, and if the if uh, white decides to capture the queen, then I always have uh, rook b1, or sorry, rook b8. So white decides to capture, and I take, and the and the knight is captured by the light dark square bishop, and I capture back. We have rook e1. So this is setting up, uh, this is setting up to attack my queen after the knight moves. So this would be a discovery, and if you notice. Uh, the e6 pawn will be pressured after the knight moves. Uh, but also one other thing to notice is that the dark square of bishop is aiming at the g1 square very nicely. So I play rook f6. This is a blunder by the way, but this is where the psychology comes in. Rook f6 is intending that I know that my opponent wants to develop his knight. And if the knight develops to c3, then I can sacrifice uh, potentially somewhere um, in the future. I'm I'm looking for a sacrifice on h2. And my opponent made this very easy for me. We have uh, knight g3. So knight g3 is the best move in the position. It attacks my it attacks my queen and it pressures the e6 pawn when I do move my queen. And here I capture the knight with my queen. So a queen sacrifice. Uh, white is completely winning here, but I scared my opponent. I, I played that move in like two seconds and I scared my opponent and they thought that um, they were going to lose because if the pawn takes, then we have rook h6 checkmate. Oh, no, so no, no, no. my opponent decides to no. counter blunder and give me the queen. And after the queen is taken, now I have checkmate. So this is how I forced my opponent psychologically to blunder his queen.